all of that to illustrate a point is that sometimes having ambient light is very helpful in doing tasks that are simply beyond typing. You might have uh, pictures, documents, and other things in the real world that you need to visually see in front of you. And this is where a company that we've heard of before, BenQ, has developed a series of products called Screen Bar Lights. Now, the Screen Bar Light is a very interesting product. It is essentially a clip-on uh, light for the top of your laptop. A couple things about this, it is USB powered. It has eight color temperatures all the way down to 2700K, all the way up to 6000K. They even did studies at the National Central University in Taiwan, and they figured out that it was actually around the 4000K, which was ideal for screen reading. You've got eight color temperatures, 15 levels of brightness with an auto dim feature. You can set up your favorite one. The LED in here has 40,000 hours of operation. Uh, there's a lot to potentially like here. If you're wondering if the device will fit your laptop, what they suggest is that a screen no thicker than eight millimeters, and there needs to be at least nine millimeters of perch. So if you have a borderless display, this is not going to work. Um, there's just no ifs, ands, or buts about that. There's even a U-shape cutout that will fit over most web cameras, so it doesn't actually block that. However, if you do have Windows Hello or infrared cameras, there are no cutouts for those, so just be aware of that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unpack it, try it on some laptops, and see how it works. All right, so let's grab our tool for the job and go ahead and open this up. All right, so it looks like it comes in this nice little plastic case. And there we've got it. So you do have this carrying case. It's not too large, large enough to protect it. And you know what? If you're going on a business trip, you probably want a way to, of protecting it. So let's take a look at the actual light itself. We have a very short, but let's face it, it doesn't need to be very long, USB cable here. Now the controls on the top are very simple. You've got a power on and off. You have an auto adjustment, which senses ambient light. You can make the temperature warmer or cooler. And then if you press and hold that button for three seconds, that will set whatever setting to your favorite so you can quickly get back to it. Let's go ahead and try it out on a few laptops in varying lighting conditions and see how it works. Before we do anything, listen. So the first machine we're gonna try it on is actually the X1 Carbon third generation. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up and clip this on like so. Pretty straightforward. Once you have the bar clipped on at the top, what you'll want to do is actually tilt it upward so you can actually see your webcam. Because if you can't see your webcam, then there isn't a whole lot of point on having this thing clipped on. So there we go. Positioned correctly. Okay, let's go ahead and plug it in. And already we are getting a little bit of light off of that. So let's go ahead and turn off our ambient lights and see what that looks like. And uh, wow, that is casting an immense amount of light. Uh, you can't see it, but it's actually uh, throwing light not only down, but like straight out as well. Like the back counter behind the camera is actually lit up very, very well. So even though I had to tilt it up this high so I could still use the web camera, you would want to tilt that sucker down and then wong, lots of light. Now, the really cool thing, and they did advertise this, is that it would uh, avoid glare on the display. And that is true. No matter how much I am tilting this, there is no additional light being cast on the display that's washing out the picture. So that is pretty handy. If we take a look up top, we can see the light LED here. Uh, one thing I can't see unless I tap them is the actual buttons to change the warmth of the light and that works pretty well, or the coolness of the light. And the ambient sensor will automatically detect and adjust the light level accordingly, and that's actually really comfortable. Not only am I able to obviously see the keyboard, which I have backlighting for, but if I had any notes or documents, uh, I have no trouble reading that. It is certainly far more powerful than any think light, but that is to be expected with the amount of LEDs that we have in there. 
One thing that is worth pointing out, however, uh, something that they can improve, is that you don't actually, or you can't actually see where the controls are in the dark. And that uh, seems like a bit of an oversight. It might have been nice to have these buttons lit up kind of all the time, not just when you're tapping them in the dark. I don't know. It might be a nitpick, but to me that's something that uh, stands out. Because I know that there are buttons over here. So that's the favorite setting. The app has some pretty powerful features and is easily downloaded. So we can set it to an eco mode. We can automatically use the uh, favorite setting here, the auto adjust. We can turn it on and off. We can adjust the lighting level, the color temperature more precisely. We can uh, set the monitor brightness as well in here, as well as the color temperature. It will give us some uh, information about the firmware, which can be upgraded if we need to. It tells us a quick guide on how to use it and all of the different power settings. We can also set an auto dimming function for the time of day. So very similar to the night light function that is built into Windows 10, something very similar could be used for this as well. Next up, we have the Surface Book 2. So I'm going to go ahead and position the lamp in its top position and place it over the threshold. And it doesn't look like it is going to fit. The Surface Book 2 uh, with my toast skin is probably just almost too thick. Nope, it'll fit. Never mind. Uh, with It is definitely pushing it, though. You wouldn't want to do uh, too much more than that. And I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake the computer. See if Windows Hello still works. It is not finding me, even though the diode is present. But if I remove that, no problem. Next up, we have a ThinkPad T540P. And we're going to go ahead and see if it fits on the top of this bad boy. Not really, no. It is slightly too thick. It will sit there but I wouldn't necessarily say that it fits there really uh, securely. Just something to keep in mind. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so it's time for a couple of conclusions. The BenQ screen bar light is incredibly bright, super adjustable. It is operating system agnostic. The only thing that you won't get, say, on Linux is access to their fancy app that allows for the specific customizations and configurations. This is incredibly well built. It's incredibly bright. There are a couple of drawbacks, however. One is, is that unless you are actively pawing for these controls, the LEDs do not stay lit. I think that would perhaps be something to look into. Maybe with a firmware update, they could adjust that to taste or maybe give you an option to have these lights always on so you can find them in the dark because when it is pitch black, uh, the only LEDs that show are the ones that are currently active. It will not fit on any device that has a thickness of uh, eight millimeters or more. So you really do need to pay attention to that. And if you have Windows Hello, chances are pretty good it will block the infrared camera. So positioning is going to be an issue there. I will certainly be messing around with this over the next few days, weeks, and months. So if you do have any questions or things that you'd like me to try out with it, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get those uh, queries answered for you. I want to thank BenQ very much for sending me this light to test. I think it is an interesting and very well-built product that certainly has some potential, especially for those people that miss the Think Light that traditionally shipped on laptops of yesteryear. If you'd like to buy one of these yourself, I'll leave some links in the description down below where you can get one for yourself. It is pretty well built, so even though it might seem like you're paying a premium for it, I think it's because you're getting a premium product. There are lots of options out there, but this is uh, beautifully well lit. You've got that BenQ name backing it. It's made out of metal, very robust, very durable, nice hard plastic carrying case as well. There's an awful lot that you're getting there uh, for your dollar. So if you think this is a product that you would want to give yourself a try, or maybe you have, please feel free to share in the comments down below. With that being said, I'm going to leave the big four here at the bottom. Please like the video, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you will be notified when updates on this product or any others that I get uh, will be sent directly to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.